Lots of concerns here. There was an increase in security on school grounds today, and parents just look worried. Many telling us that they have been sounding the alarm about violence, bullying at the school for a long time. Their number one question, what will be done to prevent this from happening again? A sense of worry lingers at Lindenhurst Middle School one day after a 13-year-old boy was stabbed with a knife by a 12-year-old student. It's unsettling. It's very sad to hear what these kids have to deal with. When I went to school, I didn't have to worry about stuff like this. Authorities say the victim is in stable condition, a big change from the chaotic scene here Monday, when staff members had to use a tourniquet to help contain the heavy bleeding, prompting an hours-long school lockdown. She's terrified. She was afraid to come to school today, but I assured her that it was safe. Marie Pardue says her daughter knows the injured boy. She and other parents say fights and bullying are a constant problem at the school. I think that it's amazing that it hasn't happened before this. That there's been problems at the school forever. My own child was bullied here. The young suspect has been arraigned and charged for juvenile delinquency. Meantime, Suffolk County police increased patrols in the area. But parents say a big part of the problem is what happens off school grounds on social media. The mentality of children has completely changed. My daughter was crying to get into the classroom after he was stabbed and other kids were pushing her out to go and videotape it. There's videos of this. Dr. Jeffrey Reynolds runs a violence prevention organization on Long Island. He says while fights and bullying at schools are not new, there is more of a willingness to resort to extreme violence and use weapons. You take the anxiety and stress associated with COVID, you take adolescents in general, you layer that on top of social media and news about school shootings, there's an extremism out there. The biggest challenge is that we have kids who are in classrooms trying to learn at the same time they're worried about their safety. And he went on to say that incidents like this one provide an opportunity for parents to sit down with their children and have the very difficult but necessary conversations that need to happen about guns, violence, and that sort of thing. He says those conversations need to happen on a regular basis, and he suggests that parents monitor what their kids consume online.